Yep, that silver car has been following me. Now then, where should I go? Hmm. I need some archive footage for a virtual interaction. Now then, there's a clue here. Where am I going to go? There's that silver car again. There he is. Here's that silver car. You see it? Yeah. Been following me, passed me five times now. And I'm not sure why. Maybe that one. No, it's a man. Yeah. So that silver focus is following me. And not sure why at this time. This gentleman has been following me and I don't know why. Yeah, you. How's it going? Yeah, good, thank you. I'm wondering what you're up to. Yeah, I'm just making some archive footage. Doing a virtual, um, what they call a virtual interaction online. Yeah. I need some uh, background footage. Right. So I'm just using this uh, DPD um, facility as a background. As a background. Yeah. And what's it? What's going to be used for? A virtual reality uh, interaction. English for me. <laughs> All right. So basically, I mean. I mean, some people could come out to a place like this yeah. and they may want to video record it. Yeah. However, different places that people go to, yeah. there are different interactions depending on the knowledge of the security, for instance. Mm -hmm. So I'm not looking for any interactions with any, anybody in particular today. I'm just looking for some, you know, background video. This will just do fine. So I'll just be walking up and down a little bit just to get some uh, different footage. But this one's going to stay static. Right. So it's different angles. Yeah. yeah. Why DPD though? I don't get it. Um, it's just a random, it could be anybody really, yeah. nothing personal, you know, yeah. nothing about the company in particular. Right, I see. Yeah. Okay. It's a virtual interaction, yeah? Yeah, yeah, if you want any more information, by all means, send your manager out if you want. Yeah. But by all means, help yourself. Okay. Well, thanks, Lanny. No worries. So, the idea of this is to create a background and to have a virtual interaction, a virtual interaction for anybody online who has never tried auditing before. Now this is a safe way of doing it and my intention is to set up a home studio and give you an opportunity to have a phone in and we'll use this as the backdrop and anybody who's never experienced what it's like to audit a security guard for instance I will play the role of the security guard and this is going to be the backdrop so it's nothing personal nothing about DPD uh, I think DPD do a great job delivering parcels up and down the country and uh, yeah without them where would we be so just for information anyway this is public property so I'm not going to advance onto any private facility although I think where the camera is set up at the moment for the background just next to the sign I do believe that's public property this roadway up to this point may well not be vehicles come in and when they come in at this point the gates will open there are obviously security cameras to make sure that no vehicles come in that aren't wanted and this is the coronavirus safe working practice for DPD so they've got everything in place as they say and they have a little camera here as well so if you ring the bell they can see who they're talking to Oh, and it's one of them up there. Where, if you're very tall, it's up there. And if you're very small, 
It's down here. So these are automatic gates, open on their own. Yeah, I know it's in. I'm just going to get this wagon driving out and the gate's shut in now. I'm going to go over there. Sorry? I don't want to film it, man. Move it. Hey, no problem, no problem. Get, 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 As you can understand, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll have a chat with you. I'll, I'll have a chat inside, inside the vans and what have you. They're not going to be happy, are they? Right, I'll have a chat with you in a minute. No one. Just, just need to get the gate shut in. Yeah, yeah. Just put the camera down once it drives past. Yeah, yeah. The gate will close after the bomb train. All right. There's no law against it. Is there? No. A lot, not a lot of people know that, you see, so, you know. So it's going to serve as an education video as well. Basically, um, there's no law against photography in public spaces. Mm -hmm. So what I'm actually doing now, I, I did just want the gate shut in, but obviously because you yeah. didn't know the law, shall we say, it's fair to understand that I recommend you go and do a little bit of research when you go home and look up on the law. I thought it's private property. Yeah, it is. I need to go past that zebra crossing. It's private is it property. Zebra, zebra crossing? Yeah, and as you that's can understand, enough. and that's why I've asked you to move back on this side, and as you can understand, when you're pointing a camera inside someone's vehicle, whether it be against the law or not against the law, some people take that personal. I, I, that, that's um, what I did then. You know, I and thought you're well within your right to stand no recording. Way. That's not an issue. Hmm. Uh, but understand from the point of view of anyone driving past, pointing a camera do, in. Do you know something? Cap, what I can do with this footage afterwards is get in contact with DPD yeah. and give it to them as an educational video. Yeah. Just with a little bit of information for drivers, you know, like yourself, who don't know. And then if DPD want to look it up themselves, you know, the laws on filming, yeah. they'll find out under the Criminal Justice Act 1972, yeah, section 33. Yeah, but that but public why spaces you, you can film for yeah. educational purposes for what for drivers for what we know the i know you're saying the law on filming but that's got nothing to do with the, there is no expect yes yeah, there is no expectation of privacy in a public space yeah, no, so while, while when you come outside the gates technically you're in public space I, I, see, I yeah, don't yeah, mind, yeah, yeah. that's why i stopped in gates yeah that's fine so it's on private property then yeah so, but if i'm filming you from outside i can still film you even through the get in through the fence even though you're on private property. Because anything that the human eye can see, theoretically, is the Can I just ask a question? Why are you doing this? It's an educational video. For the purpose of what? To say that you can record wherever you want or for another educational purpose? No, no, not to say you can record wherever you want. It's to give people the chance to learn from opportunities and interactions. With what? Yeah. All we're wanting to inquire is why you're on site, because obviously we have to restrict security-wise. We have to make sure everything's done properly. Like Johnny's just come out and told you, across the pedestrian crossing is private property. So to get there, one, we need to keep you safe. Two, obviously we need prior warning, what you're doing. All goes through our central team. So that, that's what we'd like. Total respect, yeah. understand where you're coming from. Yeah. The so reason why I was beyond the zebra crossing, which I didn't know, I thought it was up to the gate. But right. now that, you say Johnny? Johnny, yeah. yeah. Now that Johnny's informed me that, you know, public space is actually beyond uh, yeah. You know, the private properties, yeah, yeah. wherever you... Where's the boundary line? The zebra crossing. The zebra crossing. So, at the zebra crossing, as long as I don't cross that, technically, I'm okay. Yeah. But the reason why I was there, just to, just to advise you, 
Um, sorry, just get you on camera for reference. No, please do. I don't need you to. Yeah, it's only for reference. No, I'm actually not. All right, fair enough. Well, the reason why I was over the other side is to get the gates open and shut in. Right. And now, now that I've got the gates opening, I just need to get a bit of footage of it shut in. And then that will complete my reason for being here. Okay, so what are you exactly hoping to get? So what are you filming and what are you filming it for? Well, it's for a virtual interaction. Right. So it allows Explain people to learn to from terms. it allows people to learn from the experience. Experience of what? Uh, of interactions, recorded, how they can go sadly wrong sometimes and how they can go right. And how to conduct yourself, you know, like I don't know whether you think I'm conducting myself in an unreasonable manner. No, not at all. It's we just obviously not. we need to understand. Um, if you're recording the gates opening and closing, I'm just I'm not understanding the reason behind the it. reason why why well, are you doing that. It, it was just uh, content for the video. Once I got it closing, now we're going to come away anyway. But that what does that show somebody? Uh, well, that's part of the ongoing production, should I say, and it's not for profit. Right, so you're making a production then? Yes, but it's not for profit. Right, so if you're making a production then you, I would probably say that you will need authority right, okay. before you can film. Yeah, Never I understand mind that. use it. Yeah. yeah. Do you I have understand. a business card or anything uh, like not that? Not on me, no. Do you want to tell me your details then? Uh, not at this time, no, but I will contact DPD and... Absolutely, yeah. that's absolutely fine. I can give you the contacts, that's no yeah, issue whatsoever. We just need to make sure as a depot we've done everything we can. Yeah, because yeah. obviously we've got people on site, we've got a lot of big kit on site as well, so we need to keep you safe. Okay. Well, for the, I mean, this gentleman didn't know about filming in public spaces, for instance. Mm -hmm. Are all your staff aware about filming in public spaces? Right, can, oh, I, I, just, can I just stop you there, right? Do you want to stop filming yeah, while we were, just discussed Whilst she was further. filming this chap and, you, and you're trying to say that, it, you could put the camera on me, and you're trying to say that he didn't understand about you filming in public spaces, you were actually on private property. Okay. He wasn't aware of that and he wasn't aware that he, you could film in a public That's space. Okay. And as I explained to you before, as you're pointing a camera inside people's vans, they're obviously going to take that and offend some drivers. It's right. not. It's not intentional. It. It's not intentional to no, point in the van. No, you're reasoning behind. They're bringing because it towards you, see, because they're answer. basically yeah. saying, "Don't film me. You've not got permission to film me as a person." That's what they're saying. So basically, I mean, once he's outside on the um, on the ground, uh, out on public, you know, you're getting recorded from cameras everywhere in the city centre, mm -hmm. and this is the same thing, really. Mm -hmm. That's why there's no laws yeah, against yeah, yeah. it. From, so if, from if you're on the if you're on the street, you'd have no. Yeah, but there's signs saying CCT operation in this person. It depends what it's for. I mean, you you'll have your policy, won't you? The Absolutely. GDPR. Yes. You know yeah, they have yeah. to protect that yeah, that footage. Definitely. This footage can go anywhere. You know it's not paid for. So mm -hmm. if it, if I was making profit from it, I'd need your permission to use it to make profit. But it's not for profit. It's for education. And just one more thing. Yeah. When you're on the where the knife is, you'll get no call. Yeah, fair enough. Thanks very much for that. Safe. Yeah. Right, okay, so where do we go from now? Because really I need to stop you filming. We've got a lot of drivers coming back. They'll not want to be on film. Right, okay. Just, just to advise you, yeah. uh, I will stop filming in about 15 to 20 minutes and right. then I'm going to leave. Okay. But in the meantime, I'm right. going to stay around here. I'm not going to go past your uh, Denver Crossing. Okay, no problem. Okay. That's fine. Do you want to give me your details? Uh, no, not at this time. All right, and is there a reason for that? There's no reason for it. I mean, at the end of the day, there's, there's not much you can do with those details, to be honest. No, not at all. The first name, anything. Which company you're working for, what, what is it that you're hoping to achieve, is what I'm trying to get to the yeah, bottom yeah. of. Yeah, uh, yeah. At this time, it's irrelevant, to be honest. It's not irrelevant to me. I'll give you an explanation. I just think that's safe. enough for now. All right, okay. All right, we'll leave you to it. All right. All right, if you need anything, obviously give us a buzzer on the turnstile. Uh, no, I won't um, need anything. And somebody can come through. No, no you're problem. all right. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Yeah, interesting how people don't understand the law and just presume. Uh, at the end of the day, I have a duty to explain the best I can. And if somebody doesn't understand what I'm saying, you know, it may be down to the fact that um, I'm not a very good communicator. Uh, it may be down to the fact that uh, it's cold. Yeah, although the sunshine is out, it is quite cold. My brain freezes up sometimes. Uh, hopefully, there was a bit of an interaction there that uh, everybody thought was reasonable on all sides. And I think that's what auditing is all about, to be honest. So long as um, everything's peaceful, calm, and you're not trying to provoke a, a reaction, then it, it could be deemed reasonable, seeing as photography in a public space is not a crime. So let's have a look at the parking, shall we? How did they park? So these are great parking spaces. I think uh, it's not as if there's not enough room inside, I don't think. I think there'll be plenty of room inside, but um, I don't know. Maybe this is a the new parking spaces, yeah, could well be.
interesting shot with the sunshine through the clouds. That was very interesting. It was nice to be left alone in the end. I'm pretty sure the uh, DPD operative decided to have a walk down here. Not sure where he went to, like, but obviously having a fag break or something. So, are you up for doing a virtual audit? So, what is a virtual audit? Uh, it gives you an opportunity online to use a backdrop and me act as a security guard and you phone in and you deal with me as a security guard and it tests out your skills and mine Are you filming me mate? Sorry? Why are you me? I'm not filming you in particular, I'm just getting the convoy no, I, I can't delete it. No, I don't need to do. I also think I need permission. I need permission, do I? I'm being followed by a guy in a silver car. Behind me. Yep, that silver car has been following me. So that silver focus is following me. And not sure why at this time. Definitely following me. There's that silver car again. What it is, there's a silver car following me. And um, I don't understand why they're following me. I think it's a Focus. There he is. Here's that silver car. You see it? Yeah. Been following me, passed me five times now. And I'm not sure why. No, it's a man. Yeah. Do we just observe what what you do? I mean? Just watch what I do. I'm just going to try and ask them what they're doing. Excuse me, one minute. Yeah, one, one second. Yeah. This gentleman has been following me and I don't know why. Can you just ask him why he's been following me? 
I've just come from up there, I've been filming, but he's been following me. He's passed me five times. Yeah, yeah. I need it for my own protection. I'm letting you know I'm filming you. Alright. I'm not stopping you from doing your work, are I? No, 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 you're alright. Sorry? I've, I've not recorded DPD in particular, but that gentleman over there, if you know him, he works for you, he's following me. He's following me. He drove past me five times. I've been... You've been sort of in the corner filming up one place, I guess. Yeah, so. yeah. Why? That's what I'm asking. Oh, I've been speaking to one of your um, managers. They, they know all about it. Right. Yeah, but that gentleman there has been following me, and I don't know why. And he's got your uniform on as well. Sorry? He's got your uniform on as well. Right. So I've just flagged down this police officer advising that this uh, silver car has been following me and the reason why I flagged him down because he might not be doing anything wrong but it was, was suspicious that he was driving past numerous times and if I hadn't caught it on camera I wouldn't have had much evidence so that's the reason why you must keep your camera recording at all times now I think this gentleman I had an interaction with him earlier on outside DPD I'm just trying to work out why he might be following me advise you I'm still recording yeah yeah that's fine yeah um, the, the issue is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, sorry don't get too close just caught the virus that's fine yeah, yeah. his main issue is your safety that's fine I didn't know what he was following me for I was just concerned because he's passed me five times now but my safety nothing to do with him out here, no no always what he said to me he says you've been into the grounds no, I haven't been into the... Oh, sorry, no, sorry, yeah, I okay, sorry. what he's saying to me. Alright, I'll let you go. He's saying you've been into the grounds, and that we've got 40 odd ton lorries. Alright? What, sorry? You've got 40 odd, 40 odd ton lorries. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's going to be turning out. He was just concerned for your safety. That's the main thing. Is that alright? I have got a problem with that, but I'm more concerned is, why has he come out of DPD in his car and followed me five he's times? He's for his partner. He, I've addressed him, and he's going to go now. Yeah, that's fine, I've got he's a real problem with it. But I don't understand, because I was speaking to him at DPD. And I don't understand why he's followed me. That's, that, he, like I said, his main concern and his manager's concern yeah. is your health and safety regarding inside. And it's also when drivers are doing it at yeah. yeah. last thing they want to do is run all your toes. Fair enough, I fully and respect I, that. Yeah. I turned around and told him, you're not breaking the law because you're on public uh, property. All right, but as soon as you cross the threshold, which you know, as soon as you cross the threshold, it becomes private property. That's when you can up the Okay. Okay. All right, you're not putting that on social media, are you? Can I just say, I say you've yeah. been very very professional yeah. and do you know what there's a lot of police haters out there yeah. now I'm not anti-police I am anti-police corruption I'm not suggesting you are corrupt yeah. you seem to be very good and, and thank you from you That's know okay. when I waved you down okay. was you actually on the way to a job regarding someone filming because if you was that would probably me that was ringing up yeah. and concerned about all yeah. oh, right we so hopefully we could tie this up then but it's just it was a health and safety concern more than anything it wasn't Fine. your you're filming because they're aware that he's not breaking the law you're on public property but it, when it when it becomes private property it's private property that's when it's just can i just know that you need my permission to put that on social media okay where did you get that information from you, that's what you need doing it no no no, no i understand what you're saying well i comprehend you, you, you can you can film me yeah no problem i don't have an issue like i'm, I'm filming you yeah yeah, yeah. Off, but this stays within my property within south british yeah. police you can need my permission to regard it put that on social media is that true yeah. no because I was going to say it to just, you. We've just been filmed as well regarding yeah. a TV series, and they have to have our written permission for us. Can, to yeah, do you know that's good? And I think uh, the program who um, got your permission, you had to sign a contract, and you had a bit of a contract oh, between right, them, everybody. and that's why they needed your permission yeah. to use on television. Right. But I think you just got a little bit mixed up with what you, you know. We'll agree to disagree. Okay. But I will be putting it on social media okay. just to advise you. You've done everything good for South Yorkshire Police. I think it's really top that you're coming across really. You've even smiled, and that's great. Yeah, yeah, but there's nothing sinister about it. No, no, I'm not, I'm and there will be people who don't like you just for, for what you wear, uniform. But I want to try and bridge that gap. Yeah. That's my intention. Yeah. And hopefully, eventually, you know, people can have a better opinion of the police. That's great. Which we, that's what we want. If you do come by, careful, don't go to private property, and we won't get any more calls. I'm going to update everybody that's got this phone bus and update our control. Right. Are, are you going to be in it much longer? Do you need me?
No. If you don't, if you don't need me, any further investigation? No. I'll see you if you do. No, no. As far as I come to, it's done. Right. Well, thank you very much for your time. All right. Professionalism, I like it. Yeah. Cheers. Well, it couldn't really go any other way, to be honest. Oops, I'm getting out. Let's just find out what the score is. So it looks like he had genuine concerns. Fair play to the guy, you know, looking out for my best interest. But I, I do believe that once I left this uh, area, his concern shouldn't really be with DPD because I'm actually on a public footpath now so I'm going to leave this area once the gentleman's drove off in fact I might go and get a quick interview I, I'm just yeah yeah I think so I'll, be, I'll come and speak to you in a second. I just want to thank you very much for, my, for your concern for my safety. Thank you very much. I, di I didn't know why he was following me, see. Uh, obviously, outside the grounds, it's a different issue. And I was a bit concerned. Can you see where I'm coming from? My concern. Just bear me a second. We're having a conversation. Yeah, yeah. But conversation. thank you for your concern for my safety. All right. And th the video will be on social media now because the interaction was good. Although you might have had your worries at the beginning, but hopefully I've alleviated. Do you have any questions before I go? I'm all right. Thank well, thank you very much for your time. Great stuff. I just wondered what your views were with people turning up and filming you like this. Do you know? Do you have anything against it? I don't think so. No. I no. Don't I'll give you an example. I want to come on your property and film your building behind you. Yeah. Now, your bosses might not want me to do that, yeah. so they would tell you to get me off the premises, don't they? Yeah. So, how do you go about it? What do you do first? You just come talk, talk to them, you know, what's, what's, what's the purpose of uh, filming. And if you're doing uh, just as a player, you know, as a view, I just politely ask, you know, the management doesn't like it. Uh, View, that's nice view over there, you know, I don't take some of the other views, uh, um, Well, my, my opinion is... ...to shout about it, you know, that you, you just got to be politely find out what's, what's, uh, what's, what's the reason, you know. Well, my opinion is, it's very rare to find a, um, a security officer like yourself, mm. who's quite open and engaging. Yeah. And, you're, and, you're, and that's down to you as a person, isn't it? Yeah, no, that's right, yeah. You're everybody, a friendly everybody, person, everybody, obviously, I can tell. Everybody have their own, own opinions and everybody... Uh, know how to go about it. And, uh, so, nice what I'm going to do now, I'm going to leave you to the rest of your day. Yeah. Hope, uh, I mean, I'm sure I'm assuming you've had a long day today and it's yeah, still right, still many yeah. di many hours to go. <laughs> no, just a minute. Tell me the four or five, five, coming up to five o'clock, just another two hours to go, yeah. Oh, he's a motorbike. I finished at seven o'clock, yeah. Well, I want to thank you for your time. No, a nice little welcome. interaction from you and uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. Cheers. You're welcome. I'm currently in the bushes, wondering what these two are scheming. Are they scheming something? How interesting is that? And where did that car come from? Never mind. Looks like they're having a good laugh.